Hey guys, Gary here. Thanks for checking in. So, a uh, quick little thing about uh, before you come to class, uh, something else to make your life easy is uh, sort out your ammo situation before you go. If the class requires a thousand rounds of ammo, have a thousand rounds of ammo. Uh, like right here is a box of Fiocchi, uh, what is this, 223A that I got from Ammo Supply Warehouse. Uh, I would take this to a like a two day carving course. However, it's not really situated to take to a two day carving course. What I want to do is put it in an ammo can so that it's all loose and I can just grab them out and not have to deal with all the little boxes and the shit. Um, I recommend a 30 caliber ammo can because uh, 50 caliber ammo cans get fucking heavy. A uh, 50 caliber ammo can full of nine millimeter weighs 55 pounds or some shit like that. So a 30 cal ammo can with nine millimeter, a thousand rounds of it weighs like 31 pounds. So if you gotta lug that fucking thing, you know, from your car to the range, 31 pounds, 55 pounds, it seems kind of a no brainer. Um, the smaller the bullet, the heavier the 50 caliber ammo can weighs because it fills up all the spaces. So like a 50 caliber can of 22 would be, like you need a hand truck to move it. A uh, 50 caliber ammo can of 50 cal isn't terrible. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna open this box here of this Fiocchi. And as you can see, oh, there's some stuff in here, some stickers and a patch, cool. Uh, but it comes in these boxes. These boxes do me no good when I'm trying to get ready to run a drill at, at, at a class. Like I need to be stuffing those things so I can get back on the line. If there are multiple relays, the quicker I stuff a magazine, the faster I can watch the other relay shoot and maybe learn something. So I'll take my 30 cal ammo can and uh, I will rip open the box. I don't need that. It comes in this little plastic case. I'm gonna dump that in there. I don't need the case either. So we'll just keep doing that and fill this puppy up. Now, in my can, I have put uh, a piece of tape and lined it off at a quarter, half and three quarters of the way, which you might be able to see in here. I know the sun's so bright I can't really see the, the viewfinder. But I got three boxes, uh, which is 150 rounds, and I put it up to just about the quarter. So we'll see if a next box puts that up there or goes over it. Perfect, 200 rounds is a quarter of the, quarter of the can. Four hundred at the halfway mark. Six hundred gets it three quarters of the way. So there you go, seven hundred fifty rounds of five five six fits in a thirty cal ammo can, and a thousand rounds of. 9 mil fits in a 30 cal ammo can. So with that, you should uh, also fill up all the magazines that you have and take with you to the class so you get a start with loaded magazines. What I will do is, uh, like these Glock mags, I will take two of them and leave them empty just in case there's some weird ash drills that you only need to, they want you to have like four rounds or 10 rounds or whatever some arbitrary number is. I'm not a fan of those type of drills, but doesn't mean that another instructor isn't. So I'll take a couple of empties and then a stack full of fulls. Uh, for a pistol class, that means two empties and 20 full magazines. For a carbon class, that means two empties and 50 full magazines. And then all loose ammo in a 30 cal ammo can so it's easier to scoop it out and stuff it. And then uh, when I get home, I'll take this box here and fill up, partially fill up another ammo can. 
Uh, when you mark the inside of the can, it doesn't really matter where you mark it at as long as you know how many rounds fit at that line. So as you're emptying it, you get a rough idea. But there you go. That's your little tip of the day.